All right, so now we've run through all the files, uh, excluding the CSS file, which uh, we'll look at that later, but uh, everything that we need to make this functional. So now let's implement it. And what I'm going to do is I, you know, I normally type everything out uh, in these videos, and in this case, I'm going to do a lot of copying and pasting and explaining instead. So let's back up, and let's... Go ahead and take a look at our input here. Now we need to do this. We're going to, like I said, we're going to use the uh, settings page as our test. So we're basically going to eliminate the need for this save button. So let's pull that page open. I'm going to go ahead and close these and minimize these folders. And we'll go to Views, open up Settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's mess with the value field first. So we're going to do some flipping back and forth between here and GitHub. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add the class blur-save. So after form control, we'll do blur-save. So this is going to tell it that uh, we want this to be a blur-save or blur-on-save. Now we need to do these data attributes. So after the class, we'll do data dash ID equals, and in here we want to echo out the ID of this uh, record. So do PHP echo and then opened ID. So I'm going to close that. So now this is going to know which ID we're, uh, or which record we're going to affect. Next, we're going to do the label, it's a data dash label equals, and for this, we'll just type this in, and this will be um, value, we'll do setting value, and lastly, the database information, so data dash db equals and for this it's going to be uh, we need to do forget the order now um, the table and then the field so the table is going to be settings and the field is going to be value um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on word wrap so we can see everything here okay so this right here should basically match this. Not basically, it should actually match that. Um, so this is set up to work now. So if we save this and go over to our page and refresh, which I'm not sure why this is spinning. Uh, we'll take a look at that uh, at a later time. But uh, if we right click here and do an inspect element, you can see that we have our settings in here. So Data ID debug dash status. Oh, that threw me off because we're not using a numbered ID system here. So that's right. Then data label and data DB settings dash value. So we're good to go on that part.